Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We are your host, Working and Stuff. What up, what up, what up? And today on Movie Social, we're going to be doing a spoiler review to the third installation of the Netflix film, To All the Boys, Always and Forever. Which is supposed to be the conclusion to this uh, series. I believe there was only three books ever created. And if you like what we're doing on this channel with these reviews for movies, TV shows, video games, and anime, go ahead and uh, like the video and please subscribe to the channel. Share the video on the channel with your family and friends. And so, yeah, it's finally come to an end. Probably, but you know, sometimes they might try to milk this for a fourth one somehow. But we get to the dramatic conclusion of uh, the love here. Now, this one uh, started off interesting because uh, it's spring break there in uh, South Korea, which I must say, I'm, I'm, I might have to visit there. Uh, anyone else out there thinking uh, South Korea looks nice wearing a bum now? After all this snow and all we getting bad weather here in the United States. But I always wanted to go to Korea. I mean, it looks nice. Mm -hmm. But, um... So you can see uh, in this episode, uh, in this movie here, things were going to eventually have to come down because what goes up must come down our way. They were on a nice little up, uphill high, like the roller coaster. Uh, you're just going up for a big drop. And then what happens? She doesn't get in, and then the drop happens. The floor falls from up under her. But, yeah. I kind of think uh, she took the worst approach to this. Like, who, if you don't get into the school that you and your uh, person you claim you love were going to go to together, why not just say it right then and there? Now, granted, yeah, when she first did the text, she didn't mean to send them the text, but I'm not going to waste no time. I'm just going to say, yeah, that wasn't meant for you. That was an accident. Didn't happen. I didn't get in. It is what it is. I mean, it's typical teenager behavior, though, if you think about it. Um, at the end of the day, she told him. I mean, yeah, and it, to me, his his reaction to it was horrible. Like, you could see he was not okay with it at all. Hmm. The fact that she decided to go to NYU. That's the part where I feel like... Like I think I feel like when he found out she didn't get into Stanford or she got into Berkeley, he was okay with it. Yeah, but then she but said, then when she decided to go to NYU is when he basically did a, a whole one eighty and started to act like a butthole. Of course, I mean I understand it. Yeah, he's upset and all, but hmm, just because you're upset doesn't mean that it's your choice to make for her. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Because I mean. He lost me with that, trying to force her to, like she the whole her, that whole Jesus for her yeah that life. whole going to NYU for a year and then trace, tra bro, no you don't you don't go away to like NYU for a year and decide to come back no you go to NYU I mean, to experience the full year the full Stanford is uh, even a higher scale school than uh, NYU but still yeah I prefer to stay at the same school. Instead of hopping around. Yeah. Especially once you get to know people and all that. Then you got to go to a new place. You might only know him. And then who's to say he stays there all four years either? That's also true. Now, whether the relationship lasts long distance, we don't know. But sheesh. This yeah. is a little long distance. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, so I've been in a long coast distance relationship coast. for sure. Uh, but not coast to coast. <laughs> but there's so many things... That you have to deal with when it comes to coast to coast relationships, whereas you're probably getting ready for bed, and then around what ten o'clock or whatever, and they may have they may be over there studying, or you know you're on your way to class for eight a.m. They still sleep, mm -hmm. so it's just like or it's dinner time for you, and they still probably in class. Yeah, so it's 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 it's, uh, it's a three hour time difference for sure. Now, long distance relationship. Let's just talk about that because again, this is basically about them trying to figure out how they're going to deal with their long distance relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's nothing wrong with long distance relationships at all. It takes a lot of communication. It takes a lot of patience. But 
I can get where the downfalls are, especially in this kind of long distance relationship. Yeah, the intimacy is going to be gone. Well, yeah, for sure. The they thing. Never had sex with them. So. I mean, they did. They did. Yeah, they really. They did at the end. At prom. No, no not no. at prom. It was after he that. He stopped that. Because that's yeah. when he blew up. Yeah, it wasn't that. It was after their parents went. After their, her parents went. Yeah, were. I mean, yes. I I'll th- say yes. Yeah. But does that make it better or worse? See? As well, though, not to have and not have either way, it can see that because then you got a taste, you True. want more. True, my whole yeah. thing is with, with, with long distance relationship, mm-hmm. it's a lot of it, it like it, it needs a lot of communication, like, yeah. you need a lot of communication. Like I said, theirs is going to be 10 times harder with the being on different coasts, yeah. But see, I think also at the same time, having a long distance relationship back in the day would have been harder than it is now because now you have more means of communication but it also makes it just as bad because you also have social media and everything too what oh you said you were going to bed and then pops up <laughs> on a post somewhere else oh you said you was going to bed it looks like you at uh jamie's party but huh? then it also looks bad for you because then why are you just stalking up stalking social media pages and, and all that too so here's the thing about that right or you were just happy to yeah it down. just happens it just happens things i was on my timeline you we and you are friends on Facebook, so I just happen to see it. But you never know. Sometimes that can go either way. It can go either way. But sure. you also have video live stream. I mean, uh, you have video call. And you have, uh, y'all can hop into a VR together. I mean, so. But you'll be right next to each other to watch a movie on uh, Netflix. Or so you are absolutely right. Like, long distance relationship now compared to what? Let's just say 10 years ago. Yeah, you, you have a lot more. It's a lot more things for sure. And so, who knows? Do they survive this long distance relationship? Personally, me, I don't think they will because just because they're going in a high, they're coming out of high school, and for Laura Jean, for the most part, that's really the only boy she's really had a real relationship with. She's liked other boys, but let's keep it real. You're gonna meet a lot of other people in those four years away oh, from each sure. other, for sure. And vice versa for him, too. Mm-hmm. And one is going to be in the major city. Being in New York, you're bound to run into a lot more people. Oh, yeah, for sure. For him. Agreed. And it's just going to... Who knows? Their careers or whatever might draw them further apart as well. And so... so I mean, maybe just their schedule in general. Yeah. I mean, you've seen celebrities try to have long distance relationships. One's filming in Australia, the other one's in uh, New York or something filming. Can't keep it together. Mm-hmm. Eventually, after a few years of trying, break up. But we'll see. But uh, I hope they really don't try to spin this into another movie where, not even just with them, but with the younger sister and all, too. They will make it when they try to dig up. They are. Watch, watch they make something about them being in college for their first year. Mm. I mean, if they do something, only the thing I would want to see, just put it into the relationship. Either as mutual friends or something like that. Just so that way it doesn't leave the cliffhanger of them. Uh, do we know? Do they get back together? Or do like Riverdale, fast forward uh, seven years. <laughs> mm. Just having them still look the same age, though. Sorry. <laughs> Had to take my shot ever. Yeah, let's just talk about how my guy, uh, was it Zach from Thirteen Reasons Why? Yeah. Stay he stay he stays in a <laughs> in a high school uh movie yeah. slash show, whatever the case may be. Riverdale as well. He was in that. <laughs> Man. Yeah, I know. His character, he plays a lot of uh high school uh roles. Or just in college roles as mm. well. But overall though, I don't know. Comparing this to the other two, this was a little on the emotional realm to me than the other two. The other two was just fluff pieces to me. This one, yeah, because they finally had some term, some serious turmoil in their relationship. All right. But kudos to her father having a second wedding after after tragedy. Kudos. That's all I can say on that. But why can't we all just have backyard weddings? 
save it. Save these men some money. Oh, God. <laughs> $15,000 for a wedding. Hey, I was a little bit more than that, but if. Hey, I'm just saying. When you can knock that down to 5000 I, I was feeling that barbecue idea. <laughs> Some people would say you only get married once, but in this situation, it was different, so. I mean, you never know what life gives you. True. But we all know the woman. The wedding is not more so for the groom for the most, most cases. It's more so for the, uh, well, you can't even say that in this day and age. For the spouse, I was just saying. It's generally for cater to one spouse. Man, the wedding was for me too, man. Oh, shut up. But if you had the choice. Oh, if I had the choice. <laughs> probably went to the Quarks. <laughs> My point is that one. Anyway, what did you think about this uh, movie? Did you uh, find it entertaining? Did you uh, like uh, what happened with Laura Jean going to NYU? Do you think their relationship is going to last long distance? And do you want to see Netflix produce a fourth one out of thin air now? Let us know in the comments below. And until next time.